friends welcome to my channel today in this video we are going to create a beautiful and amazing block I am going to use yarn of three colors for this project and a hook of 2.5 mm so we are going to begin with yarn of color A and with slip knot now we have to do chain 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 we have to go back to the fourth chain insert the hook in yarn over pull through both the loops with a slip stitch chain 1 2 3 which counts as a double crochet double crochet 2 double crochet 3 chain 2 for chain 3 yarn over insert the hook into the ring pull through pull through 2 pull through 2 double crochet 1 2 and 3 for the second side of the square chain 2 for chain space yarn over for the third side of the square double crochet barn 2 and 3 chain 2 for chain space yarn over for the fourth side of the square double crochet 1 2 and 3 chain 2 for chain space now we have to join the stitches on the top of the fourth stitch with slip stitch the first round is complete we have to do slip stitch 1 on the top of the next stitch slip stitch 2 on the top of the next stitch and slip stitch 3 to come to the chain space of 2 chain 1 2 3 which counts as a double crochet double crochet 2 double crochet 3 chain 2 for chain space into the same chain space of 2 double crochet 1 2 3 chain 2 for chain space yarn over into the next chain space of 2 double crochet 1 2 3 chain 2 for chain space into the same chain space of 2 double crochet 1 2 and 3 chain 2 for chain space into the next chain space of 2 we have to do 3 double crochet chain 2 and 3 double crochet so complete the round following the same pattern and we will meet again when this round would be completed when this round is complete we have to do chain 2 now we have to join the stitches on the top of the 4 stitch with slip stitch we have to cut the yarn from here because we are going to add yarn of color B to the pattern so we are going to begin with slip knot now we have to join the yarn into this chain space of 2 with slip stitch chain 1 2 3 which counts as a double crochet double crochet 2 double crochet 3 chain 2 for chain space into the same chain space of 2 double crochet 1 2 and 3 chain 2 for chain space into this chain space of 2 double crochet 1 chain 2 for chain space double crochet 2 chain 2 for chain space into the next chain space of 2 double crochet 1 double crochet 2 double crochet 3 chain 2 for chain space into the same chain space of 2 for the corner of the square double crochet 1 2 and 3 chain 2 for chain space into the next chain space of 2 for the V stitch double crochet 1 chain 2 for chain space into the same chain space of 2 double crochet 2 
chain 2 for chain space. Into the next chain space of 2 we have to do 3 double crochet chain 2 and 3 double crochet. So complete the round following the same pattern and the ring reach again when this round would be completed. When the round is complete we have to do chain 2. Now we have to join the stitches on the top of the 4th stitch with slip stitch. On the top of the next stitch slip stitch 2. On the top of the next stitch slip stitch 3 into the chain space of 2 slip stitch 4 now into this chain space of 2 chain 3 which counts as a double crochet double crochet 2 double crochet 3 chain 2 for chain space into the same chain space of 2 double crochet 1 2 and 3 chain 2 for chain space yarn over into the first double crochet of this V stitch, insert the hook in, pull through, pull through two, pull through two, double crochet one, into the same stitch, double crochet two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now yarn over into the next double crochet of the V stitch yarn over insert the hook insert the hook into the stitch pull through pull through two pull through two double crochet one two three four five six Seven. Chain 2 for chain space. Yarn over into the next chain space of 2. Double crochet 1, 2, 3. Chain 2 for chain space. Into the same chain space of 2. Double crochet 1, 2, and 3 chain 2 for chain space into the first stitch of this V stitch we have to do 7 double crochet so double crochet 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 yarn over into the next double crochet of the V stitch we have to do 7 double crochet so double crochet 1 2 3 4 5, 6, 7, chain 2 for chain space, into the next chain space of 2, double crochet 1, 2, 3, chain 2 for chain space, into the same chain space of 2, double crochet 1, 2, so complete the round following the same pattern and we will meet again when this round would be completed. When this round is complete, we have to do chain 2. Now we have to join the stitches on the top of the 4th stitch with slip stitch. We have to cut the yarn from here because we are going to add yarn of color C to the pattern. So we have to begin with slip knot. Now we have to join the yarn into this chain space of 2 with slip stitch chain one two three which counts as a double crochet double crochet two double crochet three chain two for chain space into the same chain space of two double crochet one two and three 
chain 2 for chain space. Yarn over into this chain space of 2. We have to do double crochet yarn, chain 2 for chain space. Into the same chain space of 2, double crochet 2, chain 2 for chain space. Into this chain space of 2, insert the hook and pull through 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, pull through, pull through 2, chain 2 for chain space. Into the next chain space of 2, double crochet 1, chain 2 for chain space. Into the same chain space of 2, double crochet 2, chain 2 for chain space. Into the next chain space of 2, double crochet 1, 2, 3, chain 2 for chain space. Into the same chain space of 2, double crochet 1, 2, and 3. Chain 2 for chain space. Into the next chain space of 2, double crochet 1, chain 2 for chain space. Into the same chain space of 2, double crochet 1, chain 2 for chain space. Into this chain space of 2, insert the hook and pull through 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Pull through all the loops, pull through, chain 2 for chain space. Into the next chain space of 2, double crochet 1, chain 2 for chain space. Double crochet 2, chain 2 for chain space. Into this chain space of 2, we have to do 3 double crochet, chain 2 and 3 double crochet. So complete the round following the same pattern and we will meet again when this round would be completed. When this round is complete, we have to do chain 2. Now we have to join the stitches on the top of the 4th stitch with 6th stitch. Cut the yarn from here because we are going to continue with yarn of color B for the next round. So we have to join the yarn into the chain space of 2 with slip stitch. Chain 3 which counts as a double crochet, double crochet 2, double crochet 3. Chain 2 for chain space. Yarn over into the same chain space of 2, double crochet 1, 2 and 3. Chain 2 for chain space. Yarn over into this double crochet. We have to do 7 double crochet. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yarn over into the next double crochet of the V stitch we have to do 7 double crochet so double crochet 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 Chain 2 for chain space. Yarn over into the next chain space. Yarn over into this double crochet of the V stitch. We have to do 7 double crochet. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Six, seven. Yarn over into the next double crochet of the V stitch. We have to do seven double crochet. So one, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven. Chain two for chain space. Into the next chain space of two, double crochet one, two, and three. Chain two for chain space. Into the same chain space of two, double crochet one, two, three. Chain two for chain space. So complete the round following the same pattern and we will meet again when this round would be completed. When this round is complete, we join the stitches on the top of the four stitch with slip stitch. Now we have to switch to yarn of color C for the next round. So chain 3 which counts as a double crochet, double crochet 2, double crochet 3, chain 2 for chain space. Into the same chain space of two, double crochet bond, two and three. Chain two for chain space. Into the next chain space of two, double crochet bond, chain two for chain space. Into the same chain space of two, double crochet two. Chain two for chain space. Into the next chain space of two, pull through one, two, three, four, five, six. Pull through all the loops, pull through two, chain two for chain space. Yarn over. Into the next chain space of two, double crochet barn, chain two for chain space. Into the same chain space of two, double crochet two, chain two for chain space. Into the next chain space of two, pull through one, two, three, four, five, six. Pull through all the loops, pull through two. Chain two for chain space. Into the next chain space of two, double crochet one, chain two for chain space. Into the same chain space of two, double crochet two. Chain 2 for chain space. Into the next chain space of 2 for the corner of the square. Double crochet bond. 2 and 3. Chain 2 for chain space. Into the same chain space of 2. Double crochet bond. 2 and 3. Chain 2 for chain space. So now for each side of the square we would have three of this pattern. In this way the size of the square will keep on increasing and for each side of the square after every two rounds there would be an increase in this pattern. So keep on increasing the pattern to the length you require for your project. When this square is increased to the desired length we are going to do edging for this pattern so we have to join the yarn of color A to the pattern again for the edging chain 1 2 3 which counts as a double crochet double crochet 2 double crochet 3 chain 2 for chain space into the same chain space of 2 double crochet 1 2 and 3 for the corner of the square now on the top of the next stitch, double crochet bond, double crochet bond on the top of the next stitch, one double crochet on the top of the next stitch. Into the chain space of two, double crochet bond, double crochet two. Into the next chain space of two, double crochet bond, double crochet two. Into the next chain space of two, double crochet bond double crochet 2 into the next chain space of 2 double crochet 1 double crochet 2 into the next chain space of 2 double crochet 1 double crochet 2 into the next chain space of 2 double crochet 1 double crochet 2 
so we have to do two double crochet into each chain space of two across the round and for each corner of the square three double crochet chain two and three double crochet so complete the round and we will meet again when this round would be completed when this round is complete we are going to do a round with yarn of color B so we have to follow the same pattern by doing three double crochet chain two and three double crochet for each corner of the square two and three and on the top of each stitch we have to do one double crochet across the round so complete this round and one more round with yarn of color C following the same pattern and we will meet again when this edging would be completed this square is going to appear like this when it will be completed you can make as many squares as you require for the project this pattern can be used for making blankets bed cover table cover cushion cover and even for table mat table runner and so forth and so on thank you so much